Welcome. My name is Carolyn Mon, and I'm the chairperson of the Department of English at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. I'm so excited that you're here to celebrate and enjoy this year's Edmund and Norma Rushton Undergraduate Humanities Research Showcase. This event is made possible by the Edmund and Norma Rushton Endowment for American Studies in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Both Edmund Rushton and Norma G. Rushton appreciated the diversity and scope of a liberal arts education that encourages a deeper understanding of humanity. They were dedicated to enhancing the lives of others through participation in the communities in which they lived. Mr. Rushton, who graduated with his undergraduate degree in 1950 and his master's in 1973, spent his career as a respected member of the Detroit advertising community. He served on the board of directors of the Franklin Wright Settlement, Children's Hospital of Michigan, and was a member of the speaker's board of the United Way. Mrs. Rushton, who began her studies in Wayne, at Wayne State in 1950 and received her BA in 1981 in American Studies, pursued her education while raising six children. She was instrumental in founding Children's Oncology Services of Michigan, which was responsible for raising the funds to build the Ronald McDonald House in Detroit. The purpose of this generous endowment is to support activities highlighting the interdisciplinary strengths of Wayne State's undergraduate students. The donors wanted these events to help build a sense of community among undergraduate students at Wayne State and through interdisciplinary thinking and research, be more aware of the contributions they might make in the future. We are having a special edition of this event online this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the past, the Rushton Conference has been a standalone conference with multiple panels and a poster contest. In more recent years, we have organized a Rushton, a Rushton stream of events in the Warrior Scholars Conference. Students at that event are invited from all majors and programs to participate in presenting research within the frameworks of language, literature, and culture. This year, the departments of classical and modern languages, literatures and cultures, English and philosophy are working together on this event that will celebrate outstanding senior research projects completed during this academic year in our departments. Since we cannot gather in person to celebrate the wonderful work of our students, I hope you will enjoy this virtual showcase that will bring together members of our community while also providing a platform to share students' accomplishments more broadly. My gratitude goes out to Associate Chair of English, Jamie Goodrich for organizing this event, to the Chairs of Classical and Modern Languages, Literatures and Cultures and Philosophy, Vanessa DeGiffis and Eric Hiddleston. Thanks especially to our students who carried on with the crucial work of research in this strange and difficult year. Thank you to all of those who will encounter this work online and leave encouragement and feedback to our students and the important work they are doing. Thank you for helping us to build and maintain our intellectual community. I hope you enjoy the showcase. Hello, I'm Eric Hiddleston. I'm chair of the philosophy department at Wayne State, and I'm really happy to be here to help introduce this remote version of the Rushton Undergraduate Conference. Chairs Carolyn Mon from English and Vanessa DeGiffis from Languages are also recording introductions, so I thought I'd say a bit about philosophy and its place in the humanities at Wayne State. Philosophy is both ancient and also as contemporary as can be. Western philosophy is traditionally thought to have started in ancient Greece, and people read Plato and Aristotle to this day. Philosophy is about the deepest and broadest questions that there are. These include questions such as whether there's a God, whether there's free will, what moral rightness might be, and whether it's objective or just a matter of convention, but also questions about logic and reasoning in general and the nature of mind too. Uh, our mental phenomena brain processes, for example, or maybe emergent from them, or maybe even non-physical. These questions are obviously broad and deep, but 
Philosophy is distinguished by taking a generally rational approach to them. For example, uh, someone might tell you that you ought to believe in God because sages of the past did. Or maybe they'll say that you have to believe in God or else you'll go to hell. Hell, I say! That wouldn't be philosophy. Um, philosophers would attempt to argue using evidence and broadly rational means for one or another conclusion. For example, um, some psychologists and neuroscientists have recently argued that there's neuroscientific evidence that free will is an illusion. A number of philosophers have responded that this conclusion is premature. Now, the arguments here involve empirical scientific evidence, but they have broader conceptual components too. What does this evidence really support or show? That question about what the evidence shows is not immediately in the evidence itself, but requires a broader approach. And that's what philosophy does. Philosophy is especially important today as this world confronts anew questions about what justice looks like. It feels, to me at least, like there's a bit of a changing of the guard, and old questions and old arrangements have to be reconsidered with a new focus and a new urgency by a new generation. Like I said, philosophy is as contemporary as can be. Today, uh, we have uh, two philosophy seniors contributing to this video version of the Rushton Conference. These are Ms. Saba Dbaishi and Mr. Angelo Kapravika. Ms. Dbaishi addresses how to balance the importance of free expression with the very real threat of misinformation. Mr. Kapravika addresses responses by theists, that's people who believe in God, to the so-called problem of evil. We, uh, myself, philosophy, and Wayne State, we're all proud of them and excited about their futures. I want to thank uh, Professors Carolyn Mon and Jamie Goodrich of the English Department for organizing this pandemic version of the Russian Conference. Thank the participants for their hard work, and thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Dr. Vanessa DeGiffis, Chair of the Department of Classical and Modern Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. I'm excited to be able to speak with you today on the occasion of the Rushton Undergraduate Conference. I'd like to just share some of my reflections on the importance of research in language, literature, and culture. Language is so fundamental to being human and so pervasive in our everyday that it's easy to be tempted to think that maybe it doesn't warrant serious scientific research. But it is precisely because it is so fundamental and pervasive that it does deserve research and that we benefit so much from the study of language. Language is the way that humans express ourselves, connect to other people, establish rules in society that may liberate or oppress, ways that we understand the and commemorate the present as well as to remember the past. And so in the process of studying language, we also study ourselves, our societies, and we have a better understanding of our, of our own powers, our powers to persuade and mobilize, to degrade or to uplift our fellow man. I'd like to thank the sponsors and donors for supporting the Rushton Undergraduate Conference on Language, Literature, and Culture at Wayne State University. And I'd like to congratulate the students for their success so far and wish them all the best in their future endeavors.